Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here on Procreate and for today's video guys I actually want to talk about something rather simple but I do think that it can be quite helpful which is to how to get your color palettes from looking like this into this and this one is a color palette that uses the same amount of hues as the very first one but it has way more tones which really helps to add some variance to your illustration without going to other colors. So you can keep your color palette very minimal and cohesive, but you can offer more tones of the same color. So let's just get with today's tutorial. So starting with this color palette, it's reflected here on this illustration that I've currently, I, I have been working on. And this is uh, from the time that I've started working on Procreate until actually not too long ago. I used to either just save my colors here as swatches or just create a color palette from the working colors of that illustration. And I would go simply just by using the eyedropper and if I was using, for example, the color here on the pants and say that I wanted to add that to uh, my illustration, I would just add that to a, a new color palette. And let's just say I'll do the same with yellow, so on and so forth, and just kind of start saving these colors just on a sequence just really the colors that I was working on a specific illustration. But as you can see, it is quite messy. You have all these tones going around. For example, we start with yellow, then we go into blue, and then we actually go into pink, and then there are two more tones. This one is actually quite cyan, but then you, you kind of go back to blue here. So there, it, it's all over the place in a nutshell. So you, you have colors going all over the place here. So let me just show you a way that not only you can get more organized and it can offer you more options as you go by the variation of tones or tonality of the same colors. So what we'll do is just push the illustration here to the left. We're going to do the same kind of source material here, but I'm going to do this one on this color palette that I'm just going to keep it here as the second one. So we're going to use the eyedropper once again, capture that yellow. And now we're going to place that on the middle square, actually, the middle row. Now we're going to capture the second one, place it over here. Now we're going to capture this one. I'm going to place it here. And then the purple color. And I'm just going to try to be, oops, as fast as possible here if I can. Got that green one here. And then there's just two more colors. Some of those colors actually do look quite close to each other, but I am using and that's actually also kind of nice because I, I'm not going in, in, a, in a huge variance of spectrum of colors as well. But just hear me out. So once again, we got all of these colors that we've captured on the middle row of my color palette. So now once again, I'm going to select the first color and I'm going to use a trick that I've uh, actually spoke about in some other videos that I've done here in this channel. So first we're going to be creating a darker value of that same tone. So for that, what I like to do is to raise the saturation value by 25%. So if we're sitting around 33% here, 33 plus 25, that's 58. So we're going to go all the way to 58 here on saturation value. And now we are sitting at 95% here. We want to go down in brightness, 25%. So we when we want to find the darker value. We go up in saturation, down in brightness. So now let's go down to 70%. So once again, darker value, higher saturation, lower brightness, a brighter value. We're going to go up in brightness, down in saturation. We're going to go the other way around. So as you can see, we have our first value right here. So now I'm just going to go back in my colors palette and I'm going to add that as my darker value. So right here, I have something that is in the same family is just 25% more saturated and darker. Uh, so now we are going to create, we're going to go back into the middle one here and let's create a brighter tone. So we're going to go back in values here. And now for this one, um, we are going to first take down the saturation about 25 points. So uh, if we are sitting at at 33, we're going to go to 28, 18. So we're going to stay here about 18. And now the thing is, is that brightness, we are already at 95%. So there's not much. We can't really add 25 to 95. We're already just five shy to 100. So I'm just going to drag this to about 100 
and leave it like so. And now back in palettes, I'm just gonna tap here as my brighter value. So the other piece of this puzzle is you try to add 25 points when you can. When you can't add 25 points, just bring it either all the way to 100 if you are going with a brighter value or bring it all the way to zero if you have been decreasing. So if you're sitting at 18, for example, we need to take down 25, just go all the way to zero. So now we have our first value right here. Now we're gonna do the same with a pink one. So we're gonna go into value. First, let's find a darker one. So we're gonna go uh, 39 plus 25, or it's basically 64. So let's put that number right here. And now we were sitting pretty much at 99. Let's just, just consider 100 minus 25, 75. So let's just put that here. And now, uh, I always forget, sorry, I'm gonna go back into palettes tap that value right here. So now we have our darker value right there. So that, let's go back to the middle one and do the same with the brighter value. 39 is pretty much 40 minus 25, we're gonna go 15. So let's just dial that to 15. And we were already at 100. So I'm just gonna go back here in palettes, put that brighter value right there. So you see what I'm doing here, basically creating the brighter value as well as the darker value. And by doing so over and over with all of these colors, this is basically what you can get right here. I have my middle section tones and then I've done the brighter values and the darker values just sitting underneath. So this is a very easy thing to do to actually expand your color palette. They may just have five colors here, I would say just disregard the last two rows. These are just like, you, you can see there's like a, a few whites and grays. And then I got these two very distinct colors that I use to give accents to my illustration, like a bunch of cyan right there, uh, cyan colors that I use it to give some glow, uh, to give some like really punch. At once I'm actually done, I can show you what I mean by that. When I turn all of these shadow layers on and I start dialing up the glows, you can see that I, that's how I'm using the cyan colors in this illustration. And once again, organizing your color palette this way expands the possibilities for your illustration and is really, really awesome. You can keep things very cohesive with a short amount of hues, but with the variation of tones. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips. So you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos. And that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now on the right side of the screen, there's always more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload and the other one is a video that YouTube is recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.